Okay, welcome back, everybody. I hope you guys have had a phenomenal week in the market and are having a great weekend here this weekend and can't wait for all the excitement next week going into uh, this coming week here. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look uh, at the facts, where we're at still at this point, and kind of bring our, the things that we've been teaching you, you know, on an ongoing basis over the years, bring it back together once again here uh, for this weekend. It's so important for you to see what we talk about advance and then what is happening on the back end of that so uh, you recall that uh, all throughout the year the big thing has been the channel on the spy right and you know even when we have these little hits of down into it or like a one bar close down below uh, the channel which in this case it didn't uh, but uh, in some of the cases in the last several months we'd have a one bar close below the next bar would go right back up here again and so uh, with that being said uh, as as uh, we're taking a look at where are we at well we know that uh, we start to get a little bit conservative when we're below the speed lines uh, we're waiting really from a big paradigm shift perspective way to get two bars closing down below the channel and we get more aggressive uh, above the speed lines right that's from a day-to-day -day operational uh, perspective that being said the bigger picture with this is as long as we have uh, we do not have I should say uh, the broken you know this is the broken record theory all year long with you but you know what if you listen to this it really served you well if we don't have the two bar close below the channel then we're still focusing on long side trades and then we go back now to tried and true so we've we talked to you here in the last several weeks back we did the wealth 365 summit we showed you options hunter and seeing like unusual options activity in uh, Myrna, for instance, uh, yeah, before it exploded, we looked over the last few weeks at a whole bunch of stocks we talked about uh, during the uh, the summit, looked at what happened to those. Now let's go ahead and bring it back to some of the basics within uh, the um, uh, wealth uh, charts family. And then, of course, with my core work, my ITP tools, which is kind of a culmination of my life's work. So with that being said, as you know, we always go back to wealth uh, finder here, right? And what I like to do I like to find things that are coming up on these monthly charts that have been on the monthly charts for a while and then have uh, gone ahead and either dropped off of the weekly or dailies uh, or uh, have gone ahead and uh, been on the like maybe the monthly and the weekly, but perhaps dropped off the daily and start coming back on because that's where you get some really nice reentry opportunities. Well, if we look at ISRG, ISRG, that has been a uh, favorite on Wealth Scanner inside of Wealth Charts. If look at the uh, ITP indicators as well, uh, we'll see that there in just a moment. So what we have is uh, we have the monthly chart firing off for four months. It's been firing off for five plus weeks. It's been firing off. So greater than five weeks on the weekly. On the daily, greater than five plus days. Then we can even break it down into uh, the intraday charts more, the two, four hour charts, two hour charts. Bottom line is, this thing has been great. So, we talked a lot about Myrna uh, previously, uh, the insider trade you know, or the, the insider unusual options activity and how we identify that in advance, ex explain that to you guys, and then you can see what happened. So let's go ahead and step away from powerful things like that and go look at uh, IRC, uh, ISRG. One thing I would say before we leave here though, if you look at as we talk about culmination of my life's work with the ITP indicators, you'll notice that we went ahead and we're firing off here uh, the ITP uh, you know, tools and strategies that I've taught you uh, here and, uh, you know, did what we call throttling over here, which means after a pullback, we expect a higher high. All of that's gone ahead and uh, played out. And we'll continue to, of course, teach you some of those core concepts from my wife's work as well as we go on. Now, let's go ahead and go over here to the um, uh, ISRG. So look at uh, ISRG. ISRG has come up for numerous reasons here. Uh, 
uh, it went ahead and has uh, the Algo Hunter score of 750 in the last week. It's had increased earnings per share since the last quarter. It's had increased uh, uh, revenue growth since last year. Uh, the PE ratio has decreased as well compared to uh, other instruments in its uh, you know uh, sector. So if we look, check this out. Just look at all the Algo Hunter scores on the intraday right on up to monthly basis here. Absolutely incredible. Wealth Finder, look at how many time, uh, different uh, time frames. In fact, you can see here, it's on 10 time frames. So a lot of time frames, as you can see there. And then, of course, the WSI score of 300 as well. So a lot of algorithmic uh, things there. Look at the fundamentals, the earnings per share, quarter over quarter growth, right? Revenue growth. You guys are getting a theme here, right? So, um, and, and then like uh, the PE ratio. Look at that PE ratio for other instances instruments and supply uh, companies versus like it. So a lot of different uh, things that are taking place there. Um, and so uh, with that being said, let's go back then use uh, how are some of the ways we can analyze it, right? Well, we've shown you lots of different ways inside of wealth charts. Let's take a look at a culmination of my work now. So as we take a look at the ITP indicators, we had uh, the acceleration alerts and the R rapid trade identifier signals firing off there. Uh, that's these double dot, single dots uh, and then the double dot system. Uh, then from there, we like to see throttling and dual momentums. And, and uh, here, these red dots, remember, those are momentum shifts. Uh, and what we like to do is break above those. One tick, one cent, one pip above the high of those bars. Uh, so red dots in an uptrend, we like to break above those for fresh re-entries. And uh, it, so you kind of see there's just a, a list of different things and re-entries. And think about the speed line continuation trades I taught you at the uh, summit. So if we look at there, uh, you know, getting back above the speed lines, so like to be long above those speed lines, exit uh, when we get crossed below the speed lines, and then get back long when we get back up above the speed lines, right? So really great uh, opportunities there. The stochastic spike trade uh, there as well on the pullbacks could lead to those re-entries, especially if you haven't been touching the channel. So here you can see a, a lot of those different tools and strategies that I teach you all kind of coming together uh, to get, uh, with, you know, then really solid uh, technical uh, signals uh, to really say, yep, I can continue on entering here. So we had Wealth Finder firing off. We had Wealth Scanner going ahead and firing off. And then, you know, my underlying culmination of my wife's work, the ITP tools going ahead and uh, say that there's plenty of entries and re-entries uh, as well uh, to this process. So again, these are the ways to go ahead and find uh, as long as we remain in that, uh, you know, that uptrend mode and those things that I've been talking to you about all throughout the, uh, the year here. Uh, and last year too, we showed you Wealth Finder constantly. Go back and watch those videos because that'll really help you out uh, in, in seeing the power of something like Wealth Finder and then bringing it full circle, uh, bringing the, uh, the best of my uh, analytical tools to bear uh, and also uh, pulling this up and backing it up against uh, things like the um, uh, uh, wealth uh, scanner uh, and then like my ITP scanner because sure enough, ISRG was in here as well. Uh, you know, when you see the commonality between these different instruments and between these different uh, features all firing off, you know that basically you have a very high uh, probability uh, opportunity. So keep that in mind and uh, let's go into the next week looking for the next great opportunities here. And uh, remember everything we taught you at the last summit and the speed line continuation trades, gotcha bars, all those different classes uh, that we've been uh, teaching also for our Wealth Charts members, what I taught you at the uh, annual intensive member uh, for Wealth Charts annual members this here yesterday or uh, a couple of days ago. Um, and so all these things come together and uh, we continue to see how they're working over and over and over into this year. And uh, so if you're new to us, make sure you go ahead and watch some of my videos from earlier in the year. And I am excited to go ahead and see what the weeks ahead are going to bring, especially with the, the political climate that we're in, the real estate climate we're in, and a lot of moving pieces uh, in uh, Congress and that. Uh, this could be it's going to lead to a lot of volatility and a lot of opportunities here. And so I'm going to be using these scanners to detect some of the best opportunities.
communities uh, as well. So with that being said, you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I will look forward to seeing you in the upcoming videos here. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.